Buenas gente y bienvenidos de nuevo al canal Y bueno, vamos con la auténtica última misión Que es la 46 O sea, con esta ya digamos que termina de cerrar los puntos abiertos, más o menos Es como un prólogo, pero real. Don't you die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Intubate, now! Cardiac arrest, he's in BFIB! Clear! No response. Hit him again. Clear. How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized, but it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? Yeah, took some shrapnel to the head. Tengo, tengo mal rollo, ¿no? O sea, vamos a ver. Oye, que esto quiero que avance. V has come to. 
V has come to. Who is me? Kuzme. Hola, señor doctor. Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Sí, puedo moverla. Just nod if you can hear me. Look up, please. Very good. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Sí, venga, hombre. Uh. Come down. Come down. Try not to panic. O sea, no, no es fácil, ¿eh? Pues me sentiré dependiendo de lo que me pinchéis. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you. But you must... Que no es tan fácil explicarme este tipo de cosas, macho. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Vamos, que eso está ahí protegiéndome, guay. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. Ah. 
No se coma. Rigor. Try to calm down. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. Yes. Yes. Calm down. Yes. Yes. Pobre hombre. Και λα, λα και λες πέρα, ε. Κάποιος ήδη γνωρίζει ότι έχει ξυπνήσει. Ότι αν τρέχει μεγάλο κύμα, πρέπει να ενεργήσουμε άμεσα. Προετοιμάστε το μια εγχείρηση. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead. But you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open. No creo que me hagan hacer el avatar. So there's something we need to take care of first. Sería un poco hardcore, eh? This is you as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Vale. <laughs> Y ahora ya es cuando viene lo chungo, creo. Recordar. Very good. Now let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection, to hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Everything feels all right. Te tras tuya. Me va a tocar revivir todo el prólogo. Vamos, prólogo versión 2.0. No yet. The patient in the next bed saw my face. Of course. Consider it done. Ah! <laughs> 
sea, yo estoy mirando el prólogo realmente como si fuese la primera vez, ¿vale? Estoy ahí súper atento, en plan de, oh, ¿qué pasará? Pero bueno Como no es realmente el prólogo Cuando la quema y tal Y la requema Me tocará arrastrarme por los pasillos otra vez. Eh, la mejor mano que me podían poner. Ok, have time to go. What happened to the woman? The woman? I. We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? Talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismael. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is here in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you dead. <coughs> on your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. So de ponerme de pie lo llevo jodido, amigo. Need a little pick me up. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Sí, parece ser que me va a tocar rejugarlo. Pues lo voy a grabar de un entero, ¿eh? Get over here. Drugs not working. Yo lo intento, pero es que más no puedo correr. Pero espera a mí. Te vas a convertir en una explosión de fuego ahora. Venga, va, que más o menos. Es 
eso es algo malo, muy malo. No quiero pasar absolutamente nada por si sale algo nuevo. Hijo. Venga, que con un brazo ahí dislocado y tal, puedo seguir. No, eso no, no es un impedimento. Ah, ah. Sí, el momento en el que te dejan andar libre es como de oh. Sobre todo después de pasar por esto. Ya es el momento en el que dices libertad. Sí, pero a ver, nos vamos a ir escondiendo cada medio metro. Así, ¿eh? Como recuerdo y tal. Quiero avanzar, en serio, me, me estresa repetir lo mismo así Sobre todo esta parte, es que el prólogo me resultó bastante aburrido en cuanto a gameplay Este prólogo es el entrenamiento, eh. Hmm. 
No, aquí no hay nadie Fuera, fuera Suéltame, suéltame. La verdad es que como que hay bastante suerte en el prólogo, ¿sabes? Pues mirad lo que me importáis. Estaba un pasito por delante o algo. Pasito por delante. Por detrás De repente se hace el malo Sin gritar, eh, sin gritar. Hola, y aquí espero que ocurra todo, porque si no. No voy a bajar para luego subir. No se lo creáis que esto está bien, majos. Hey, 
Sala de al lado, por Dios. Vaya salvadas que te está haciendo Big Boss, eh. 